All right, so uh, many of you guys know that I'm a Christian. You know, I love the Lord. I talk about God all the time. I talk about how um, my religion and my belief system plays a part in my everyday life. And the question was asked, because I work in trauma, can I pray for my patients? And, or do I pray for my patients? So that is what I'm going to be answering in today's video. What's up, you guys? It's Sedona. Welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, please take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I do a lot of PA-related videos and then just life-related videos as well. And this kind of is a little bit of both. Uh, I'm a Christian and I live my life as such, but I'm also a trauma PA, so I see a lot of death um, and a lot of like life-saving things being done. And it was posed to me by Bryant Borges. He asked, can you pray for your patients? What's it like being a believer of Jesus in that community? So I think that this is a really legit question. I mean, whether you are a believer in Christ or a believer in just like a higher being, I guess, um, you really should be asking yourself, how will that play a role in the career that you are choosing? And for me, um, do I pray for my patients or can I pray for my patients? Like the answer is yes, I pray for my patients all the time. Uh, I pray for my patients, I pray for myself because, you know, again, I, I am, I still consider myself a baby PA. And although I have been trained in these various different skills, like chest tubes and lines and all of these different things, um, I want to make sure that I'm not like harming anybody. I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. And so I always pray for myself uh, in those situations that God steadies my hand, that um, you know He keeps me calm, that I'm doing this like correctly, that I'm able to call back on the information that He's allowed me to learn. Um, and then I also pray for my patients that, you know, they're doing fine, that I'm comforting them, that I am making sure that, you know, I'm, I'm doing good and not bad. Uh, so, yes, I pray for my patients. And I pray for them when they go to the OR. I pray for them when they come out. And that's just something, like, I do personally. But do I pray with them? I guess that's something a little bit different. Uh, no, I've never prayed with a patient. I have talked to patients about God and their belief system because they've brought it up. Uh, you know, they've said, yeah, you know, they're believers or various different things. And, you know, when you're a believer and you're in a situation where it's traumatic or you have to go to the OR for something, you may be a little bit nervous or scared, but you kind of fall back on that belief system that God is going to bring you through. And so for me, um, I usually take those opportunities to talk to them and try to comfort them in that way because that is something that I would feel comfort in, uh, in knowing that, hey, you know what, like God, God has brought you through. It could have been a lot worse. You know, it's okay. Like you're going to come through this, that kind of thing. So I've never prayed with a patient specifically, but I pray for all of my patients. What's it like being a believer in that trauma community? Um, I don't think it's as hard as you would think because, again, like trauma just makes me believe in God so much more. I'm just like, man, like this could have been so much worse or God, you are so amazing. Like when you're in the OR and you're seeing the movement of the bowels and you're seeing like all of the various different organs in the abdomen or in the chest cavity or in the pelvis and you're like oh my gosh like look at all of this and how it all works together and you're looking at the vessels and the vasculature and you're like man this is intertwined in such a magnificent way um it just kind of just makes me even more a believer more of a believer i guess you could say and then also just a believer in like the magnitude of how God is able to just kind of bless humans with all of this knowledge for us to be able to go in and fix these various different things and so it's not hard um, and it's not as hard as one might think uh, I think it's more of a, a comfort I guess you can say being a believer in a community where you're surrounded by trauma uh, on a consistent basis because it kind of brings you back to you know how great God is, even in the midst of all of the madness, uh, there's still a bit of peace there in knowing that, you know, he will bring you through. So just a little bit of, you know, church for you guys <laughs> on this Sunday. Uh, hope you guys uh, appreciated that, you know, the question was asked, so I wanted to answer that for you. If you have any other questions for me, you guys, please leave it in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at GetThatCUniversity. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.